And while some Hoosiers are now joining those relief efforts, others have been waiting to hear from their loved ones. Tonight, David McAnally spoke with one woman who finally got the answer that she had been praying for. From bottled water to ambulances, Hoosiers are rushing to help flood victims in Texas. Because I was so excited because I got to see my mama's face. Mindy lives in Beach Grove. Her mom lives in Texas. When Harvey hit, they lost contact. I was just so worried. My mom has congestive heart failure. She's had four heart attacks. Her mom's home, Port Aransas, suffered heavy damage. I couldn't reach anybody, but this lady hit me up on that Facebook page. I just put my mom's information on there, and I was like, I'm looking for my mom. I need to know if she's okay. She says an Internet angel got in her car and went looking, and... Ah! I think I got it. I think, yep, there it is. What's this? It's my mama. My mom. I'm doing good. Okay? She's doing good. God works in mysterious ways. God works in mysterious ways. Was it a relief to see this? Yes. Yes, it was. Here's Mindy's mom and her social media helper. Her home survived. I love social media. I really do because it, it puts people together. Mindy finally feeling relief as other Hoosiers make the trip down to Texas to provide relief. During Hurricane Gustav, we were deployed for uh, about 12 days. During Hurricane Sandy, we had uh, three ambulance crews deployed for 16 days. And before dawn Monday, four Buck Creek Township fire ambulances hit the road for Texas. They'll help evacuate patients from flooded hospitals or care centers wherever they're needed through a contract with FEMA. We're expecting a pretty good influx of water. People are always willing to donate in this area. There seems to be a lot of need for it, and we actually know people who live in Texas. Brandy Klein, the first to donate cases of water Cumberland police are collecting for Texas. If you were in that situation, you'd want somebody to help you out. Thank you very much. All right, thank you. The ambulance crews, it's unclear when they'll be back. They could be deployed for more than two weeks. Anne-Marie, 